Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I have a good news and this good news is for our breeding of the parakeets. Because I'm so much worried about the inbreeding that might happen in our aviary and many of you have suggested about this that you have to infuse another line of you know, birds in order to prevent this inbreeding and to maintain the quality of birds that we're gonna produce so i have here some 10 new lines of parakeets i just came from the terminal and i got this one so please be with me as we are going to unbox this beautiful bird that we are going to infuse in our breeders and i hope that this can bring forth good result to our breeding of this parakeet so come on let's go inside Good morning! We have new companion. As we are going to unbox this one, let me remind you that in breeding these parakeets, we have also from time to time infuse another strains or another lines of birds in order to upgrade and to prevent our birds from inbreeding and once inbreeding happens it will lessen the quality of the birds that we can produce so i observed this in the past that after three years or four years we are not anymore producing good quality of birds so this is the reason why i really got new strains from the other breeders and uh, we are going to unbox this one I'm so happy about this I already saw the picture and uh, these are all yellow colored birds and maybe you're interested to know about the price of this well this is much much cheaper compared to the African lovebirds because these African lovebirds are actually not that prolific compared to the parakeets imagine each pair of this parakeet can produce six to seven babies in just one batch and uh, i'm so excited because these are actually beautiful birds that we can start to breed with our stock here our parent stocks here There are simple things that we have to observe in order to become successful in our parakeet breeding. And I've been so vocal about this because this is just simple things that should not be neglected. As we can hear the chirpings of the babies, this will give us the impression that the farming of these birds is actually now very successful. And the three things that I would like to share with you is that number one, never 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 allow your birds to go hungry even in just a short period of time because if they will go hungry then everything will go wrong the food that they're gonna give to their chicks will be hampered and it will affect even the health of the babies so these things should not happen never never allow your birds to go hungry and the second thing is about the water this water should be available 24 7. you should not allow 
your birds to go thirsty even for one hour or two hours or even a short period of time because if this is gonna happen this will affect their health because these birds cannot store liquids in their bodies so they don't have the sweat glands unlike the mammals they have to be given water 24 7. Another thing that I can share with you in so far as breeding of these parakeets is a good environment. If we can provide them with a good environment, meaning that the cages could not be, you know, penetrated by the predators like these rats, these crickets, and these insects outside, the cats, the birds, and that's the mark that you will become successful. You don't have to spend so much about the cages, only that we have to secure for their safety and about the cleanliness that is also very important if you will allow this uh, dung to you know accumulate then it will invite viruses or I mean, bacteria so i made this as a habit to really collect all the dung that are stick to the floor and uh, i'm so happy because this is a double purpose we can also use this waste as fertilizers for our flowers and it's really very effective I experienced that if we're gonna put this down in our flower pads, our plants will really bloom and it will bear more flowers. The regular cleaning will prevent, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, where did she come from, ah, I'm sorry, it fell down from the nest. The regular cleaning actually will ensure us to control the pest, especially the ants. These ants could also be the great cause of our failure in so far as breeding these parakeets is concerned because they can go up and eat the babies if there are babies that are dead then the ants would literally penetrate and this will scare already our birds it will create disturbance so the ants also should be prevented <laughs> you look at this you look at this baby <laughs> it just came out from the nest box and the color is really very beautiful. You see that? How are you? <laughs> Doing a regular routine in your breeding cage is actually necessary because if we do so these birds will not be scared anymore because they're used to it because it's your routine and you will see that they're not scared they are actually anticipating this activity early in the morning the feeding time of course we don't forget to mention about this moringa this pepper this uh, water spinach and even the cattle bone is really very important in breeding our parakeets and as you can see all these boxes have so many babies and these babies are so healthy and they are so well that we can see another batch of babies that will fly out from the nest boxes 
in a few days from now. Look at our garden. I think it's beautiful with all these flowering plants. This could be one of the elegant garden that I have ever made. And I'm so happy about this. And this is attributed by using organic fertilizers. The dung of our chickens, the birds, and we also do composting and so many natural and very organic fertilizers that you can produce in order for us to become just natural because we don't actually need synthetic fertilizers we can go organic so these are the things that we can share with you so far i hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may i humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are regularly uploading informative and very exciting videos. Shout out to the members of this channel all here at Dexter's World.